Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Now, so today's program will be looking to find the sum of your digits use, uh, using recursion in C. Now, the sum of your digits is if you have a number, say one, two, three. Now, the sum of these digits, individual digits, is six, right? So we have to find this using recursion. Okay. So now, uh, I'll just uh, start uh, go into the code. I now I just created a sum of numbers uh, recursive dot c, and I'll just start with our uh, g general stdio for input output. Now we'll just write down our main. Now we have created our main. Now here the input will be given from the user that will be a number, and we have to find the sum of its digits. So I'll declare the number that we'll get from the user. I'll just pop the message to the user and then to receive the input from your user now that we have taken our uh, input from our user now what we need to do is we need to define a recursive function right so now while defining a recursive function recursive function basically has two components one is your stopping condition where the recursion should stop and other is a recursive condition now in this case uh, we know that we have to find the sum of numbers right so if the number consists of a single digit that means that the sum we have to return uh, sum is the number itself right but if the number uh, number has a length greater than 1 that means that it needs to be divided further and added to the sum right so we'll just do that i'll first declare our method now i just created a sum of numbers recursive method and uh, it will return an integer uh, that is the sum of your digits and the input will be integer given to us by the user that will be pa that will be passing to this function right so now what is the stopping condition now now the stopping condition we have to put is that if the number number has a length of 1 right so if it is a any number from 0 to 9 that means that it is a single digit number and the sum of the digits is the number itself right so we'll just return the input as it is so if the input oh, input is less than 10 that means that it is uh, somewhere from 0 to 9 that means that what we need to return over here is the number itself right the input that we got from the user turn input okay so if that's the case then our program will terminate suppose the user enters anything from 0 to 9 say suppose he enters 6 now the sum of the digits of the number that the user gave us is the number itself right so we just returned it now if the number has a length greater than uh, 1 that it is, it is any number from say 10 to uh, whatever uh, large number now we need to continuously divide the number right so we'll put an else condition now we'll uh, be looking at our recursive condition uh, now the recursive condition is when the number is greater than 10 right that means that the length of the number is is greater than 2 now if the length is greater than 2 then what we'll do is we'll pluck out the number in the units place and add it to our sum and then we'll call the function again and give it the rest of the digits so say suppose i had a number say 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 right so now if this number has a length greater than uh, 1 right so it has four digits now what i'll do is that i will add 4 to our sum and the uh, what i'll do i'll I'll give the 1 2 3 back to the same recursive function again when the number is uh, 1 2 3 uh, the function gets it it will remove 3 and then it will it will uh, return 1 2 to the function right so after that what will happen is that now this time the 2 will be removed and the 1 will be passed to the function uh, and when we are done when we get an uh, when we know that uh, this number is less than 10 right so the number is returned itself so what later it we will do is that we'll add 4 to this 3 to this 2 to this 1 and we'll get the sum of all our digits so this is what we'll be doing in our recursive step so let's do that integer 
now first step that we need to do is we need to pluck out the number from our units place right so to get the number from the units place we'll we'll mo uh, re uh, find the remainder uh, from the input on a 10 right so we'll declare it as units place which is equal to our input modulo 10 so we have got a units place right now what we need to do is we need to actually after plucking out the units place we need to only return the st f uh, the uh, the input that is actually left out after removing the units place so what we'll do is we'll divide the input by 10 so we'll get the starting bits or uh, starting uh, digits of our number so input is equal to input divided by 10 so now we have plugged out the units place and the rest of the numbers are, are there in our input then what we'll do is again we'll recursively call our function I'll just declare int sum which is equal to units place plus the answer that is returned to us by the recursive function that we'll call again and we'll pass in our input that is the number after removing the units place so after we have done this finally after the recursion is complete we'll have the sum back the addition of all the digits in our sum variable now what we need to do is we need to return this sum so we'll return it so now that we have implemented our I'll, I'll just add a condition say uh, sorry a comment uh, for recursive so this is our stopping part and this is our recursive part now that we have done this we can call it in our main and we'll pass in our input so now that we have done our part now the thing that is left is we need to just print out uh, the sum of our numbers now that we have written our print statement now let's compile and see if we have any error so no errors ok so now let's run it so it's asking our number so we'll give 1 2 3 4 and the sum of our digits is 6 plus 4 that's 10 right so we have successfully implemented our code now I know recursion is quite tough when I started off with recursion it is it was like I could not get anything but you just need to remember these steps that is that we need to first decide a stopping condition and our recursive condition and then we have to apply the logic any recursive function that you implement will have these two always a stopping condition and a recursive condition now if you don't have a stopping condition then it might get into an infinite loop and uh, you will have errors uh, you'll have runtime errors now once you practice recursion it will get easier now if you want me to do more programs on recursion please put it in the comment section and I I'll make the video as quickly as possible now that's it for this uh, uh, tutorial uh, join us next time now please do subscribe to our channel like our videos and provide uh, your suggestions in the comment section thank you